everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm delighted to be here today and can't wait to show you how to do this quilt. So let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? I love the lattice work. I love the simplicity of it, but it looks like you worked really hard. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need are four packs of five inch squares. There's 42 squares in each pack and you're going to need four of those. Or you could use a layer cake, which is 10 inch squares that you would cut in fourths. But anytime I can get it pre-cut, I love it. And we've used Be Creative by Deb Strain for Moda. It's a great line. Bees must be really popular this year because there are several bee lines. And this one, I just love, I love the colors. I love the way it goes together. I love Deb Strain. So uh, we love everything about that. Also, you're gonna need a yard of background fabric for your, for your lattices right here. These, that also includes that first uh, little inch and a half border. For your outer border, it's a six inch border and you're gonna need a yard and a half of fabric. And let me show you how to make this because this goes together so quick and easy and it's just fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our pack and we are going to choose four squares and we're gonna make a four patch. So we're just gonna put these together. We like to mix them up a little bit. And uh, just like that, you don't want all the same color. You can have lights and darks, you can have different colors. We just wanna put a four patch together that's mixed up. So to make a four patch, you're gonna use four squares that are the same size. And we are gonna sew two together, these two together up here, and these two together down here. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here at the sewing machine, I'm gonna line these up together and I'm just gonna set my, um, my presser foot down on the edge and I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch down the side. So here we go. And then I'm gonna chain piece the next set right in behind it. So line those up and slide those under the foot as well. Alrighty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip those apart and we are gonna press these open so we head over to the ironing board over here. And I am gonna press these, you wanna press them opposite directions. So we're gonna make sure these run the opposite way. You can do that by putting your same lights on the same side because you know you're gonna flip those around. So you can see here, now I have two seams going the different directions and we are gonna lay those right on top of each other and sew so a quarter of an inch right down the side of that. Nest up those seams. You can feel with your fingers if they're lined up or not, and you wanna make sure those are lined up nice and tight. All right, now we're gonna clip that off, and now we get to press it open, and we'll see how good we did on that center seam. Oh, perfect. Love it when they nest right together. And you'll really get to where you can feel that with your fingers. So now you have this little four patch like this. And what we're gonna do with our four patches is we are then gonna take them and we are gonna cut them diagonally one time, just one direction. And what's fun about cutting this diagonally is you're gonna match up your corners here and you're gonna match up where they come together in the middle. And you're going to cut right across those. Now, the benefit of, of this right here is if this isn't perfect, this is now gonna be hidden because what we're gonna do is we're going to add a lattice in there. So for, to add your lattices, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and cut inch and a half strips. And you're gonna cut three, I think you cut about 14 of those. And you're gonna cut three 14 uh, pieces out of each strip. And so let's go ahead and do that. I've already cut my strips as you can see. And so I'm just gonna cut my selvage ends off right here. And I'm gonna use this little ruler cause it's a lot handier to use a little ruler with a little fabric. So um, now we're gonna go, we're gonna line this up on here like this and I'm gonna count over 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you're gonna get three cuts out of each strip because then you're gonna open this up and you're gonna cut it as well. And 14 is our magic number on these because uh, that's, uh, that's just long enough to go diagonally 
across that block. So once you get your strips cut, you're gonna to wanna to fold those together like this and press a center line. So I'm just finger pressing right here and making a crease because we need the center of this strip to line up with this spot right here where these blocks come together because that's the center of our block. So we're gonna lay that right on there like that. And we are gonna go over to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch right down the side of this. And you wanna make sure, take a little look and make sure that your uh, strip does extend beyond your block. It should, it shouldn't have any trouble at all. Make sure they stay lined up all the way down. So once you get that side sewn on, you're gonna come over and you're gonna add your other side. Now, if you want to, you can mix these up. You know, so if you have a whole bunch of these cut, you could add a different piece to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the same one on here because that's what I've got. Remember, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna finger press this down right here because now we wanna match this side up again with that same crease that's right there. We don't wanna lose that crease right there. And so we're gonna line that up on there, right? Just like that. You can put a pin in there if you want to. And then we are gonna sew this a quarter of an inch as well. And there we go. All right, so now we are gonna iron it back with the, not just finger press, but iron. And I'm going to kind of set this and roll it back. And then I'm gonna flip this over and make sure those seams are going the way I want them to. And I want them to go out from the center. I think that's personal preference, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna iron them so they go out. I actually really like ironing from the top because what you're looking for is a flat quilt block. And this one is nice and flat. All right, so now we have to clean up these corners right here. There's two ways to do that. One, you can fold it in half like this, and then you can just slice off that end like that. You know, makes it real easy. So we'll do one that way. Just line your ruler up right along the edge of your block right here and then come down and just cut that little, that little point off right there. And that's gonna make our corner point. And the other way you can do it, you know, everybody's comfortable with uh, different ways, so I'm just gonna show you two. Uh, you can line up your ruler along the edge of your fabric like this and cut that side and then come over here. And again, you use your fabric as your guide and you cut the point. So then you have a point on both sides. So your whole block is done now. Now, um, so let's go ahead and see how these set together because it's fun to lay these out. Now you can see on this one, like I have different halves on each one, which, which I think it doesn't really matter. It's kind of fun. It gives it a more scrappy look if you do that. But um, you can lay these out however you want. We've got ours uh, latticing throughout the whole quilt. So as long as you put them together so that these little strips match up here, let me get this out of the way so you can see, it will make all the, uh, it will make all the squares. Now see, I just had this right here. These are the same. I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna turn it. And that's kind of the same too. So I'm just gonna bring this over here and move it to the next one. And I'll put this one over here. So see how they all come together? I mean, it's just a great way to, uh, a great quick fun way to make a quilt with a little pizzazz to it. All right, so let's look at the quilt behind us. We have back here, these are our four patches right here with our one line through them. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six of those blocks across. Six of these across and then seven down. So we'll end up with 42 blocks. That's gonna give you a quilt that is, let's see what size it is, 67 by 76, so it's a pretty good size quilt, and it comes out really nice. Once you get your blocks sewn together, you're gonna to add your first little inch and a half border, and then you're gonna add your six inch outer border, and you're gonna be good to go. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Lattice 4 Patch from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.